All right, in the last video, we used the generate HDL command to generate Verilog for an FIR interpolation filter that we were designing for a project. The interpolation filter uh, was designed to interpolate an input signal by a factor of four, uh, and we used uh, the FIR1 command uh, to generate the taps for this interpolation filter. In this video, we're going to use Simulink to generate a polyphase version of this very same filter. To do so, I'm going to generate the coefficients using the FIR1 command, and I'm going to reshape the coefficients and quantize them using this MATLAB. All right, I've generated the coefficients, and you can see that there are four rows of coefficients. Each row represents a phase of the polyphase structure, and each uh, row has 65 columns, representing the 65 taps in each row. You'll recall that we made a 256 tap filter before. The reason that we have 260 taps in this particular filter is just so that we can have four phases with the same number of taps, and to do so, we've just zero padded the taps. All right, now to make the polyphase version of this filter, we're going to go into Simulink. All right, here we're in Simulink, and here is a discrete FIR filter. We're going to grab this, and we're going to open it up you can see that it has coefficients. These coefficients are going to correspond to the coefficients for each row of our filter. So here I'm copying one row of coefficients. And I'm pasting that row of coefficients into the filter. I'm going to uh, set the coefficients to have a fixed point data type of 1, 16, 15. And I'm going to leave everything else the same on this particular filter. All right, I need four copies of this filter, and I'm going to put the different coefficients into each copy. All right, next we need a rate transition because we're going to increase the sampling rate from each of these filters by a factor of four. Here's my rate transition. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to say multiple of input port time, and I'm gonna make it 0.25 which will represent increasing the sampling rate by four. I need four copies of this. All right, next I need to add delays. All right, I'm going to delay the first phase by zero, the second phase by one, the third phase by two, and the fourth phase by three. All right, now you can see the delay blocks. And you can see I've also changed the sample time to 1 over k times fs modem. This corresponds to the same sampling rate that the rate transition block made. All right, the last thing that we need to do is an addition block. We need to add four items. So I'm going to add two additional inputs. And I'm going to leave the output data type and accumulator data type the same as inherit via internal rule. You know, wire the adder up. All right, and now our polyphase filter is complete. In the next video, we're going to learn how to turn this into HDL. In the meantime, I've already built this filter and put it into a block that is going into a larger system. And if I were to run this whole system, to show that the interpolation is working correctly, we can validate that the interpolation is working. I can do this by calling my interpolation filter block, the simulink block that I was just looking at, and inputting the output of that block into an ideal receiver that I've built to receive the Wi-Fi signal. All right, so the receiver ran, and you can see that we have a nice constellation for a 4K or 4096 QAM signal. Uh, this, uh, this constellation, uh, each of these points represents 12 bits of uh, data, uh, and it's important that we have a good EVM. This can be found in two different ways. A, we have nice tight clusters, so each of these dots uh, is a nice tight bundle. Uh, and B, we can also look at the EVM 
Uh, here's a plot of the EVM per subcarrier. If we take the RMS of this, we will find that the EVM is around minus 55 dB, uh, which is nice. Now we can also look at the spectrum. So here we're plotting the power spectral density of the signal uh, and comparing it to the Wi-Fi mask. Uh, and you can see that the signal has a nice PSD uh, and is passing the Wi-Fi mask. All right, so with that, we'll stop there. In the next video, we're going to synthesize, uh, or sorry, we're going to generate HDL for the filter that we just built. Uh, and then following that, we will test the filter's Verilog and then move it into the synthesis and automatic place and route flows.